Hey guys, what's going on? Stokonic here, and today we're going back into the World Tournament and we're going to be using my Rose Lead team. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to be doing the 3.5 time multiplier. Um, I know it's been like a day and a half since the World Tournament came out. I haven't been grinding it. Uh, if you saw a couple of my other videos, I've been grinding out the, G the GT events and all of the um, the Paikupan and Goku medals. Finally got myself into a good, good position with that, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get you. Know, I'm going to try one more time to see if I can get another AoE over here. If not, we're going to go with a Rose friend. Uh, okay, cool. LR Broly. Yeah, I'm going to use LR Broly. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run through the prelim uh, preliminaries. I can't, I can never pronounce that word right. <laughs> um, we're going to go through the preliminaries right now. I got my Rose Lead team. Um, they're all villains. I have um, the the AOE for Cell isn't bad on the lower tiers. Uh, the Majin Vegeta, the OG Broly. I figured let me demonstrate the OG Broly for you guys. Then LR Broly friend. Um, the Rose and the Black that I have, they're both for key support since you don't really get good key between these guys. And then you also have the Buhan for healing, so I don't really have to use Sensu, though I do have a Sensu just in case. And I have the Strength Orb items and then two more key manipul- well, well, two more key booster items. The King I really like, he's really common, he's easy to drop, I have like a thousand of them. Um, he gives one key for three turns to everyone, and Launch, he gives a random amount of key for one turn for everyone on the field. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the pre preliminaries right now, <laughs> um, and let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you guys aren't aware, uh, I, I literally, literally just posted up my Dokkan News information from uh, the Dokkan News July 21st one. Uh, it's about all the information that's coming out. And I wanted to talk about the new categories that are coming out. Uh, I don't really have any information about it, but I want to like, I think that this is a really good thing for the game. Um, it's going to bring a new meta into the game. It's going to make old cards a lot more relevant. I don't want to touch too deep on it on that video. Let's go ahead and put my Majin here so that way I can demonstrate him. Plus, I don't think I'll get an AoE over that Broly. And then there's that, and then boom. So, um, I'm, I'm trying to think of what they could do with possibly with the categories. I mean, obviously they're going to have the categories where you increase the drop items for specific events. But does that mean we are also going to be able to drop or have an increased drop in the amount of metals that get dropped? Like if we go and you use like two cards that will increase the rate of metals for a Dokkan event, if a Dokkan event normally drops seven, can it double the amount that it drops? Um, or if it's a specific item you're looking for. Uh, if there's one stage and you run it multiple different types of uh, card types, or categories in the cards, does that mean a specific item's gonna have a better chance to drop that normally wouldn't drop? So if you go on to like the Bulma training event and that drops a whole bunch of support items, right? It, what, if you run different types of categories, is, does that now mean that, see look at this, this is, this is destroying I'm not gonna be able, by the time I get to them, there's not gonna be anyone left for points. Does this now mean that, yep, no, no, I hate this thing. <laughs> Bring it, damn AoE, come for me! Uh, anyway, um, does that now mean that there are going to be multiple chances for you to go after a specific item in individual fields? Uh, we don't know yet. I mean, I, I'm just speculating. These are things that could possibly happen. God damn, are you serious right now? <laughs> I can't, I'm getting so angry. <laughs> uh, but I think that's going to be a freaking pretty damn good thing. Um, uh, right now on, on my teams, uh, I'm kind of also going back to the World Tournament thing that I was talking about earlier in my last video that I had posted up. Uh, make sure that you guys set your World Tournament teams to be for every single... Uh, oh, I should have set them for that one. Alright, whatever. I'm going to put here for him and we're going to here for you. Uh, make sure you set every single one of your teams to your World Tournament team or make sure you don't grind any events outside of the World Tournament. If you do, you have a chance for your World Tournament team to revert to the team used outside of the battle, so I can be a pain in the butt. I just wanted to make sure I said that. So, but yeah, um, this is, uh, as you can see here, uh, outside of the fact that I didn't get any AoEs in my preliminaries because they kept on going after each other, I got the one AoE in the beginning with the Lodge of Vegeta, but hopefully I give you a better demonstration with the OG Broly. Um, but th I'm, that also begs the question, back, going back to, I know I'm all over the place right now, I just finished my energy drink, I'm kind of like teetering with the brimming with energy freaking out right now. I need to hit up the gym for a little bit. It's going to kill my freaking World Tournament grind. Um, <laughs> um, if we go into the World Tournament, does that mean an increased drop rate for with certain characters for the Balma and Turtle Metals? That would be freaking pretty damn cool. But um, I've Also, if you didn't see my other video that I posted with the Dokkan news, apparently if you have this, that, not this Broly, the OG Broly, the one that I'm currently running right now, like mine's Super Tech 10, I just have no dupe system in on him. But if you have him at full base dupe system in the bottom right path unlocked, he has enough damage output and crits to one-shot the entire team. Actually, the, he does one-shot the entire ops team, apparently, without crits. He just gets crits while he's doing the AoE. So this Broly right here, the one right in the middle of my screen, 
you can want you could do an AOE on the 20 time multiplier with him. So if you have him, you might want to consider if you haven't used your redstone yet to unlock his bottom right path. If you are going to be a really big world tournament grind and you don't have the LR Broly and you're free to play, because um, if you're free to play and you don't have any of the other stronger AOEs and you don't have any nuking tactics, you, you know, you use what you can. All right. I understand that it may not be optimal, but it's practical. All right. I know there's a big post on Reddit about that, about the difference between being optimal and being practical, but I do agree with it. There is a difference between being optimal and being practical. For those of you who are free to play on the on this version or any version for that matter, it is it makes a lot more sense for you to be u utilizing your, um, your free to play characters and the characters that you currently own. And technically now the OG um, the OG God leads are technically now free to play because you are able to choose them for free. So having that OG AOE with dupe system unlock might be really good for you guys in the world tournament. Um, if you saw the other analysis video that was done, um, in, in the same amount of time it takes a person without an AOE to defeat the world tournament to just get all the base mission rewards, in the same amount of time put into, or about the same amount of time, um, you can literally get in a top 5,000 in the world tournament. So just keep that, take that into consideration while you're doing your grind and if you plan on doing a world tournament grind in the future. Um, I know there are some other talks about the World Tournament, uh, where, you know, the point system is great when you have a smaller amount, but in terms of giving out rewards, like 1 to 100 and things like that, and maybe we should keep, well, I believe we should keep the 1, like the 1 to uh, 5,000, I think maybe we should keep maybe the 1 to 10,000, but uh, based off of percentage-based rewards, that's what we want to do. We want to see if we can get a percentage-based rewards to set going, so that way more people can actually get the rewards and get the, the card rewards. You know, it's not j just us who grind it out. Like me, I grind out the World Tournament from the point that it comes out to the, um, up until now. I'm, I just grind it out, grind it out, grind it out, and then I end up placing in. But for me, that's a, that's a freaking grind fest. And like this one right now, the only reason why I'm grinding it out is because I want those Elder Kai's. Getting the Elder Kai's uh, is definitely the, honestly, the, probably the only reason why I grind so hard. Outside of that, maybe the medals and if the card is worth it. But it's really, uh, this card specifically, he is practical for a strength team. Because he hits off, um, pretty much, yeah, I'm pretty sure he hits off all of Broly's key links. Um, and he hits off the one trunks, the, the trunks that raises his um, his attack on the super attack. He ra he hits off every single one of his links. Anyway, so he's pretty good, you know, he has prepared for battle, he has the Saiyan lineage, um, he has Super Saiyan, I believe he has Golden Warrior and Saiyan Warrior race. And of course, I cannot get the damn... OG. I want to get to my OG Broly to set off the AOE right now. And look at that. I can't even freaking do that. What, what an SOB this is right now. <laughs> there we go. That's what I need to do. I'm glad that was able to get brought down. I want to show you guys the OG Broly's uh, super attack if, I, if you haven't seen it yet. But now what was I going on about? I completely lost my train of thought because of me talking about the OG Broly AOE. But anyway, let's go ahead and go into it. We're almost done with this right now, and once we can grind up this world tournament... Oh, that's what I was talking about. Um, getting Bandai to switch to percentage-based rewards. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool, but I mean, as I was saying, the, the, the Elder Kaiser is definitely my number one, and then the Metals are my number two. Alright, so... Let's see here. We got two more rounds to go. That was pretty cool. He still one-shots, as you see here. I mean, I'm pretty sure all the AoEs, except for maybe Chow Man, will one-shot... Uh, everyone up until I believe like 10 times multiplier or whatever is uh, higher than that. I think you have like 10, 15. Let's go ahead and we're going to jump here. Okay, cool. The final. You see my three win streak victory points, one times one five. I believe it goes up to like 295,000 total. Oh, I never checked to see how much time it took. Well, whatever. I'm doing the video. I can't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, personally, I don't find the rewards in the World Tournament that worth it. I mean, if it wasn't for those Elder Kai's that I really want, because I don't want to freaking go and pull, do multi-summons on those damn attribute-type banners. Alright. Yeah, I don't need them in order to do my, um to get my Elder Kai's, I'd rather not do them anyway. I mean, all they really do is they feed into the characters to raise a super attack of card they'll never use, or Baba Points. Baba Points are always good, but not worth it in my opinion. Alright, cool. So there we go. And there we go. Plus, it's just, I mean, to me, for well, for me, I want an optimal team also, but it's just not worth it. Uh, sorry to ramble again. I need to I need to stop drinking my energy drinks or doing a recording right after I finish an energy drink. I'm, like, wired right now. All over the place. Alright, so we're almost done. We're going to AoE with the, L the LR Broly. We should be good. Alright, 
cool way to look at that. See, the other thing is, I mean, which, I mean, granted, you can't do anything faster with the attack animation, but man, while having this thing freaking go while you're trying to play the World Tournament, just watching it, okay, attack animation, attack animation, you play the World Tournament 120 some odd times, and that attack animation just becomes a pain in the butt, you just want to go even quicker than it actually is. Alright, alright, cool. Final results done, now I'm in the top 100. I need to get my local ranking, I need to do in the top 3, because I don't want those 80 Master Marks, I don't need the LR Piccolos. They're cool, I'm probably going to start feeding the extra ones I get into the physical Piccolo when I get the chance. Or I'm going to see how much they actually feed into Baba for. Let's see what I got, what rewards do I have right now? Alright, three wins, Dragon Ball Saga Summons, Turtle Summon, uh, Turtle uh, Medals. Alright, cool. That's it guys. Um, I'm going to be spending the rest of my weekend, today, tomorrow, and Sunday, grinding this out, and then whatever I could do on Monday and Tuesday uh, before and after work. But thank you for joining me here today. Hit that sub button if you're new. Let me know where you're at in the rankings. Let me know what you're trying to go for, if you're trying to go for the Vegeta or not, and uh, about the LR Piccolo and your local rankings, what you're trying to go for there. Thank you. Hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys later.